it's me, Rama, and this is a demo of one of my blueprint nodes in my Victory plugin that is uh, one of my more sophisticated nodes. It allows me to destroy individual Apex pieces. Did you see that? How they're all responding? So I'm instantly removing them from the world completely. Now I can pass right through this area where I couldn't before. So I'm instantly removing them from the physics scene. They are no longer collidable with the world, they no longer collide with the player, they no longer collide with anything. A little hard to jump on that thing. <laughs> so this is how you can truly get rid of individual apex pieces. Here, watch this. One, two, three, go! See how it changed? Changed! So they're instantly being removed from the world, never to be seen again, and, uh, and so I can take this mess here of uh, apex pieces that are interfering with the the movement of the player. Notice it's hard to move. If I can now, I can now remove every single one of them through individual uh, destruction of individual pieces. Now probably you'd want to play some sort of a graphical effect here, but I didn't really have time for that in this demo. But you surely could, and it's easy to do. But notice the level's clean now. No collision, no strain, nothing. It's all gone. Alright, one more time. Going in game. So notice, everything has collision, I can't go through it, Eesh, can't do it. Oh, I'm actually moving it, hey, this is cool, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna blow it from, from below. Ah, it's falling! <laughs> so everything has collision, you see, right? And uh, gets in my way, and notice how this piece fell and moved around. So these have individual pieces of collision, and I just got rid of it. So, this is my handy little blueprint node that is available to you at no charge. Let's see if I can remember where this is. I have to go to... Man, I don't know how people work without collections. I need my collection. I think I just turned them off. No, they're there. I guess I didn't make one. Oh well. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, collections are great in any like significant project. Oh, so handy. So here is the fire trace that I'm doing, standard code, actually using one of my blueprint nodes to get the center of the viewport for aiming at the crosshair. And then all that's happening is I'm doing a line trace and I'm checking if it was a destructible component. If it wasn't, I just add an impulse. If it was, then I apply damage to break the, the apex piece, break the destructible, and then pass this into my victory plugin node. This is the node that I'm giving the community. And what it needs is it needs to know the item index. I don't need the bone name, I just need the item index, and that's the, the hit index. That's the, the hit item, whatever, <laughs> that thing. That's all I need, and the component. And that's it. That's all you need to do to, uh, to get this effect, which allows you to have complete and total control of these apex pieces not blocking your way. Whee! <laughs> I just love how quickly it responds. <laughs> Enjoy!